If you're up in Burnett in the uh, historic square there, you know where the K-Bay Studios are, right down the street. Uh, a little place called the Texas Tea Licious, <laughs> which uh, I enjoy going there for lunch. And uh, I was uh, just talking to the owners there. They're in our studio this morning. Welcome, Trace and uh, Liz Catlin. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks Good morning. for having us. Oh, you bet. Thanks for coming in. I was just uh, I was complimenting them on the uh, chicken salad sandwich <laughs> that they put together there. It's very, very good. But uh, now they're saying that we got to try the chicken pot pie because that's the new thing. Y'all are changing things up there at we, Texas Tea Delicious. First of all, name change, right? We are changing things up. Uh, when we bought the restaurant, I guess about two and a half years ago, um, it was Tea Delicious. It was a tea right. room. It had been there, I think, for about 16 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, we came into town and kind of wanted to change things up a little bit, get away from the tea room. But um, because we were changing things up so much, we decided to hold off on the name change for a little while. Right. And then as it just kind of came about, we thought, okay, it's time. We feel like it's our now yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and so we decided to do a name change and because we have such great customers and they're very supportive we decided to get them involved in it mm -hmm. and so we did a community-wide uh, contest and uh, I think we had what 150 150 submissions Wow right. yeah that was exciting for yeah. us. and uh, we had some really great ones we had some that were a, a little bit strange but they were still great <laughs> all in all because they were supportive right but uh, we did we changed it and uh, we ended up with uh, Trailblazer Grill Trailblazer I like that. Grill all right. Has the name already become effective, uh, or is it uh, you're waiting until January 1 or something like that? Well, officially it's effective, but we haven't changed it on the front of the building yet. We just got our permit, so we'll be changing the uh, sign out front over the next couple of weeks. Fantastic. Uh, you mentioned when you came to the area, where did you all move here from? We moved here from Houston. Oh, okay. We came in oh. on, the, on the tourist train from Austin. All right. And uh, we had always talked about retiring in the Hill Country, not necessarily retiring by a restaurant in the Hill Country, <laughs> but uh, we came in on the tourist train and got to talk to the owners and one thing led to another and we literally came in on the on the train never hearing of burn it mm -hmm. left buying the restaurant oh wow. my gosh about that? Well, you know, wow when it's meant to be it happens you know and uh, you mentioned now that uh, before it was a uh, texas tea delicious and y'all took over it was a tea room and it had been that way for years that uh, the whole square there in burn it is really a historic area it is. and uh, and there's so much history involved in the area some folks say that it's haunted in some areas mm -hmm. you ever seen any ghosts or anything there yeah. I haven't seen any, any ghosts in there. There's been some, some high-spirited people. <laughs> I haven't seen any ghosts. And, and now I'm going to have to go back and, and just kind of just walk through it and make sure I'm not looking for that. It's like, creeping me out. Yeah, there you go. Ed. Good job. Good Anytime job. Anytime it's my job to do that around here. I think one of the cool things about the fact that T-licious, before y'all took over, had been a, such a mainstay on the yes. square there. And the fact that you have made some positive changes and the community has supported it, I think is a wonderful thing because a lot of times it's like no you shouldn't mess with that you know mm -hmm. it's been around for so long but you guys have done some great great things like making it more as we were talking before we went on the air a community uh, meeting spot not just a place to eat and drink and all that but to get together with clubs see great live music um, you even had a dinner theater not too long ago we right? Do. We do a murder mystery dinner there uh, <laughs> that's something we brought in from Houston we've always done that with our family and uh, this was our 8th annual uh, what do we call it? Scare on the Square. <laughs> Scare on the Square. And we did a murder mystery dinner, and that's something we've done for the last couple of years. And we start getting people probably in June asking us. <laughs> start booking reservations for it. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. But, yeah, everybody's gotten very involved in it. And you mentioned about, about bringing, uh, changing it and people not getting any you know, any backlash. Right. The person or the people whose name we actually chose, she told me when she, when she submitted it, she said, I was one of your biggest naysayers. I didn't want anything to change. <laughs> Really? And then when she said we submitted Trailblazer, she said we feel like y'all have blazed a trail through here for great entertainment and great music. All Perfect. Right. Y'all brought something to the square that we didn't have. All right. So yeah, that was another reason for choosing it. So. Well, you moved to the area from Houston. Uh, co quite a culture shock, I'm sure, from, <laughs> from one extreme to the other. And I, I was the same way. I lived in uh, in Houston for a number of years too. Couldn't get wait to get out of that town because <laughs> the traffic alone is a nightmare. Exactly. But uh, how do you find it? I mean, are you enjoying it, or do you miss Houston at all? Or? Um, we miss our kids and grandkids. They're all there, except for the ones that are here today. Uh -huh. uh, but the traffic, we don't miss at all. Yeah. Uh, what was the sign that some that Debbie brought us and we have in our restaurant? Uh, life's too short to live in Houston. <laughs> <laughs> We've definitely learned that since we've yeah, been here. Yeah, meant the truth. And you mentioned, are these your grandchildren? These are you? our granddaughters. We have them for the next couple of days. Oh, they're cuties. They really are. And, <laughs> and one of them you're using as your cameraman. We, we are. She's pretty we, good, we too. We thought we'd have to bring her anyway. We're going to put her to work. Yeah, she's at work. 
work. She's doing her thing. The other one here's hiding under, hiding under, under her hat, hat. So we won't be able to see her at all. All right. So, again, tell us the new name of the business. Trailblazer Grill. Tra- Trailblazer Grill. So get on by there. And you mentioned off the air a while ago, and we want to talk about this, but you've changed the menu around because you're doing a lot of things with uh, your grandma's recipes, right? Yes, that's correct. Yeah, from our chicken pot pie and our chicken and dumplings. Oh. Um, we've added ribeye steak, uh, a lot of different hamburgers. Um, our meatloaf is her grandmother's recipe, which has been a huge hit. Mm-hmm. Southern green beans, because you got to have bacon grease in everything. Oh, you oh, do. Yeah. You yeah. know it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, and fried pie. We just started doing her fruit-filled fried pies. Oh, okay, man. good. Well, y'all have to check Grandma it out. Must there, be there, proud. Downtown, across from the courthouse in Burnett. And uh, by the way, uh, I guess nobody told you, but uh, you, you were supposed to bring us a, a <laughs> samples <laughs> of everything. Somebody dropped the ball. Right. Somebody dropped the ball. So <laughs> I did bring you some gift cards. Well, that oh. worked. All right. Maybe that. All right, there you go. <laughs> Trace and Liz Gatlin, formerly Texas Delicious, now called Trailblazers, coming soon. Downtown Burnett. To good luck, y'all, and happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving.